Good morning and welcome to The Home Show. Mike Pace is my name. If you're a new viewer to our show, we always feature Iowa Realty listings and open houses all around the metro in every neighborhood and every price range. Townhomes, condominiums, and single family homes. Great time to be a buyer or a seller in our market. And we always have guests, and this week, B.J. Knapp will join us. We'll go downtown and talk about affordable condominium living at the Edison. New construction downtown with 10-year tax abatement. Then, Holly Krager will join us for our Great Iowa Home feature this week. And, of course, it's a wonderful time to be a luxury buyer, and you may not realize just how much home you can afford. And Randy Slings from Iowa Realty's Iowa Title Partner will join us and we'll talk about making that transaction seamless from A to Z with our Iowa Realty partners like Iowa Title. Stay with us, let's get things started in West Des Moines. This is West Des Moines and Sachi Kalra would love to show you this four bedroom, three bathroom, new Aster plan from Paramount Destination Homes and some personal choice is still available here. Good square footage, more than 2,700 square feet, finished lower level, and a good price of 503,990. Denny Junius, also in West Des Moines, with a villa townhome, if you will, standalone with no common wall, four bedrooms and four baths. This is a brand new listing, so you might wanna arrange to see it soon. Lots of high-end finishes. Price tag here of 475, Denny Junius. Here's a four bedroom, four bathroom walkout two story. Finished lower level, a nice size family room, spacious master suite with a jet tub, a good size great room, kitchen overlooks a fenced yard, fresh paint inside, the roof was just replaced recently, price tag of 415. Stephanie Wright with three bedrooms and three baths and a nice townhome in West Des Moines. Good square footage here, nearly 2,900 square feet. Soaring ceilings, a nice family room with brick wood burning fireplace, uh, master suite with dual closets, plenty of storage, 265. Sharon Rooney, as we go to Urbandale with a four bedroom, three bathroom home by MJ Custom Homes, where the proof is in the performance. And you're gonna love those Anderson windows, spray foam insulation, passive radon, just absolutely quality everywhere. Four car garage, 645. Scott Steelman in Urbandale, Kimberly, the original builder, so you know the quality is there. It's a modern walkout ranch with four bedrooms and three baths, 3,300 plus square feet here. Nice modern kitchen, spacious walk-in pantry, quality everywhere, 619. Mike Hamilton in Urbandale, lots of updates here. Three bedroom home, let's think about a new year, new home for you. Uh, recently updated plumbing and electricity, new roof, fenced yard, double detached garage, and a price of 220. Next up, this is Shadow Creek in Clive and Lucrezia Moore would love to show you this home. Four bedrooms and five baths, floor to ceiling windows, indoor outdoor entertainment area, uh, amazing garage arrangement with a wet bar, three stall garage, 29 feet deep, plenty of storage, covered deck, 885. Windsor Heights now and Jenny Overturf with a two bedroom, one bathroom home, bringing up that question, why rent? And Jenny will be there from one to three today in the heart of Windsor Heights. Uh, unfinished lower level potential, great to location, 189.9. Mike Bray in Waukee now with a brand new listing, four bedrooms and three baths. Uh, it's a two story, better than 2,000 square feet, trails and schools and shopping nearby. Of course, those Waukee schools, fresh carpet and uh, fresh paint, good value at 320 the price. Kenzie Bransgard now with three bedrooms and three baths, townhome living in Waukee. It's a two-story, good location, access to the pool and the playground, clubhouse. The uh, homeowner's dues are low. They include the snow removal, lawn care, outside maintenance, and a price of 235. Downtown, there was a song. I, uh, BJ's too young to remember it, probably, but uh, BJ Knapp's with me right now. <laughs> He's the downtown expert. We're going to talk about new construction, affordable living downtown that is, it's just kind of mind boggling. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mike. Yeah, 164.9, you can live uh, downtown in a studio or one bedroom, uh, smaller 
well-equipped condominium. It's just amazing. Yep, you sure can. It's been a real popular plan for us there at the Edison Condos. Um, it, it can be a lock it or leave it for the downtown uh, yeah. house, or if it's somebody looking first time home buyer coming out of a rental situation, it really can cater to a lot of lifestyles. Absolutely. Yeah. And if the 164.9 isn't good enough, how about a 10 year tax abatement? Forget the taxes on the property for 10 years. I, I, it's amazing. Yeah, the amount of savings is huge, but the monthly payment when you're paying maybe $100 a year in property taxes yeah. for 10 years, that adds up oh boy. to a lot of buying power for a lot of people. It really does. And, and I know that you, uh, you appreciate, as I do, some of the uh, conversions of the old buildings yeah. downtown that are so charming. And, and, uh, but there are really good things to say about new construction. Yeah, there really are, Mike. And you can't miss out on you know, the master bathroom, the master closet, mm -hmm. the amount of cabinet space in the kitchen. You just don't give up any of those luxuries that yep. we're so used to in yep. our marketplace. That's right. Um, as you can see in some of our footage, you know, we've got uh, upgraded custom cabinets, quartz countertops, luxury vinyl plank flooring, and we've mixed and matched different palettes throughout the units. So, you know, no two are alike and you can kind of customize them with a backsplash or, right. you know, paint. There's there's some fun things you can really do to make it your own. And this is uh, obviously a, a little larger unit, but uh, even the smaller ones we're talking about, there are five of them remaining and they're all relatively small studio type mm -hmm. uh, condos. Uh, all the materials, all the craftsmanship, the good stuff is still there. Yep, it, it really is. And it's it's a very efficient floor plan. Like you said, only five condos left wow. out of the project. We opened about a year ago. What a success story. It's been a tremendous success. Yep. And it's really brought in life to the neighborhood. Um, you know, we talked about walkability with some of the some of the establishments that have opened up here recently. There's a Starbucks and the Choo Choo Donuts and Mad Meatball yeah. and Craft Brew. Right. You can walk, get on your bike, you can go. Yeah, and you know, Des Moines has got one of the better, uh, one of the best uh, mm -hmm. downtown areas of any mid-sized city in the country. Mm -hmm. So uh, the World Food Prize Building, the Sculpture Park, the uh, Civic Center, the bars and restaurants, uh, the Gray's Lake, the ballpark, wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all right there. It sure is. And at 164.9, uh, uh, you're, you're making appointments daily to show folks uh, to get those last five taken care yep, of. Yep, exactly. If you want to see it, you give us a call and we'll meet you there. Really good stuff. Uh, BJ Knapp, waiting for the phone to ring, and uh, those just few remain at 164.9 and 188 and 189, I think is the top end of it as mm -hmm. the inventory exists, which is unreal. And don't forget the 10 year tax abatement. Good to see you. Thanks, Mike. And I want to mention Home Services Lending, just putting the jam on the cracker here because you can, uh, let's see, they call it lock, shop, and home and guarantee your rate for 90 days. It's just unreal. And coming up, Holly Krager will be here. It's time to talk about a great Iowa home on The Home Show. Selling a home can be intimidating. That's why it's best to call in reinforcements. At Iowa Realty, our extensive team provides comparative market analysis, lending services for interested buyers. You guys are gonna love this place and the expertise to handle anything out of left field. Easy there, Rocket. So you can sell your home faster, celebrate sooner. Cheers, your house is officially sold. Start your sale at iowarealty.com. Open house in Johnston this afternoon from one to three with Joey Plummer. Four bedrooms and three baths here in Hidden Valley Estates. Brand new ranch, 3,000 square feet or a little more. Family room with trace ceilings. There's some shiplap, mudroom with build-ins. Uh, Johnston School nearby, 639.9. Jamie Smith, also in Johnston. Rock Custom Homes, the builder here. Mid-century modern style ranch, more than 2,800 square feet. Quality in every direction. Daylight windows in the lower level. Four bedrooms, three baths for 479.9. This is Ankeny and Holly Krieger with the former uh, Great Iowa Home feature here on The Home Show. 5,000 square feet here on almost two acres and literally too many features to mention. Uh, six bedrooms, five baths, beautiful private wooded site, a million three seventy-five. That's an Ankeny address. Jen Schuler in Ankeny, lots of new construction to talk to you about from Kyanite 
design and build. Here's a five bedroom, three bathroom home with more than 2,800 square feet, a couple of fireplaces. Uh, Centennial States is the neighborhood. Price tag of 545, a brand new listing. Same great builder, Kyanite, and this is the expanded uh, Willow four bedroom plans. And Jen can show you this one, slightly smaller. Uh, 2,162 square feet with four bedrooms and three baths. Little farmhouse flavor here. And the lower level yet to be finished, 429.9 is that price. And here's a four bedroom, three bathroom with more than 2,000 square feet, about 45 days from completion. And again, that terrific builder, Kyanite design and build. No closing costs with a preferred lender, 389.9 is that price. Now to Des Moines and Catherine Driscoll with a four bedroom, three bathroom townhome on hole number five of that beautiful Wakanda golf course. Can you imagine the views? 4,300 square feet of luxury here, high ceilings, built-ins, and a million sixty thousand dollars is the price, 4,300 plus square feet. Kim O'Connor now, a great Iowa home feature last week, a 1935 gym here in the city of Des Moines, Waterbury neighborhood, four season room, uh, all kinds of updates, finished lower level and charm absolutely galore. Price is 825, Kim O'Connor. Kerry Brueger now with a townhome for you in Des Moines with four bedrooms and four baths. The Finches, that's the neighborhood on the south side of the city with views of downtown Des Moines, believe it or not. Uh, big square footage here, about 3,600. Big kitchen, walk-in pantry, 649.9. This is the Barbican, great building on Grand Avenue, condominium living, and Carolyn Leonard, she says just perfect two bedroom, two bathroom condo. And of course, Ingersoll uh, for dinner, coffee house nearby, Des Moines Arts Center as well, great location, good price of 365 at the Barbican. Maria Torres now, townhome living, three bedrooms and three baths, just minutes to downtown. Parks, the bike path are, are nearby, open floor plan, uh, vaulted ceilings, lots of light, good square footage here and a price of $299.9. Open house, by the way, one to three there. And Jamie Smith, five bedrooms and three baths. How about six year tax abatement on this new construction? 2,000 square feet here, nine foot ceilings on the main level, luxury vinyl, white trim in that kitchen and a price of $295. Kendra Caps from Iowa, really, with a three bedroom home. This nice ranch in immaculate conditions had just one owner, three bedrooms, beautiful wood floors, fireplace. Some of that lower level is finished, plenty of storage, nice patio, good price of $235. Another nice three bedroom ranch priced at $199.9. Gonna make you think about why rent. And Kenzie Bransgard would talk to you about this. You'll see original hardwood floors, recently installed vinyl plank flooring in the hallway, living room and dining room. Updated furnace, windows, doors, roof, soffits, gutter, $199.9. Amy Kundara now with a nice neighborhood for you. Four bedrooms and three baths here. This home needs a little TLC, frankly, but it's priced right. And with some uh, cosmetic updates, you'll build some equity here. Big kitchen, lower level recently finished, $199. BJ Knapp, our guest today. Downtown living, less than rent. At uh, the Edison here, this is new construction downtown. Uh, top floor, imagine the views. A low homeowner's dues, deeded parking is available, 189. Greg Weinshank, three bedrooms and two baths, a raised ranch with a Des Moines address, quiet cul-de-sac location, nice sized kitchen. The main bedroom has its own bath, lower level with a big multi-purpose room, could be a playroom or an office or maybe another bedroom, 194 and change. Stephanie Wright now with a Des Moines address. This townhome sits on the end for extra privacy. Private patio, sunroom, two bedrooms and two baths, uh, oversized laundry and pantry area, 194.9 is that price. Stephanie Wright. BJ, as we go back downtown at the Edison, don't forget 10 year tax abatement. Do some arithmetic. It's absolutely amazing the savings. And this is one of the last remaining condos at the Edison. If you're looking for a small, affordable condo at 188, I don't know how you can beat it. Plenty of storage, private balcony. And here's another one at 164.9 with 590 square feet. That 10 year tax abatement just absolutely makes renting obsolete when you can enjoy all the downtown offers, Principal Park, Gray's Lake, downtown entertainment and activities.
According to U.S. News and World Report, Des Moines is the number seven best place to live in the United States. Well, charm is oozing out of this fabulous two-story uh, sitting privately on two acres with an Ankeny address, our great Iowa home feature for this week. And we have some superlatives that we're going to break out with my friend Holly Krager from Iowa Really, Great to see you. Good to see you too, Mike. You know, this this has really got charm. I, I, you, you do run out of superlatives sometimes, but those balconies, uh, that southern flavor that we're going to see here in a moment, uh, it's just charming. It's awesome. It's just so spectacular. So unique. Yes, very, very unique. Yeah. And in the Ankeny School District, a couple of acres, almost two full acres here, big square footage. It has 3,200 up on the first two floors yeah. and about 1,800 down, plus yeah. a 1,700 square foot garage. Wow. For all the cars. Yep. How about a dog washing station? A we're, dog washing. We're talking about everything you can imagine. And if, if a family cave appeals to you, we're going to show you one of those. Uh, and the privacy and the location just, I don't know how it could be better. Oh, it's great. It, the backyard is fully wooded and uh, a lot of privacy there. Yeah. So you really feel like you're on five acres could be, but the deer and the, there's an eagle's nest behind the home. It's, it's just amazing. Well, let's take a closer look, Sue Ann, and roll that video. There's that charming exterior with the balconies and big, beautiful windows. Double-sided fireplace with TVs on both sides in the, in the living room and also in the kitchen. Unique staircase. A curved staircase, which is just one of a kind, beautifully built. The details are amazing here with the millwork and the windows and great dining space. Everything's open, which buyers want today. They want an open floor plan, and this is what it is. And that was a cook's kitchen. Uh, yes, two islands, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. The home was built in 2018 and uh, just absolutely oozing with charm. And look at that staircase. That is just amazing. It's great, and it has a balcony up, up above, which looks down below, which is it's all open to the great room. Now some nuts and bolts, <coughs> five bedrooms. Five bedrooms, three up with two ensuite baths. Mm -hmm. The main floor has a, the, the primary bedroom and also another bedroom with an ensuite bath. And then five bath areas in all uh, in that master suite, uh, zero entry shower, which is nice. Yep. The laundry room has two sets of washers and dryers, so if you like to do laundry, it's, it is a great place to do it. Wowie. Now we're going to see, yeah, there's that nice backyard. Privacy. You told me about an eagle's nest right on the property. Yes, yes. Now that's spectacular. If you just joined us, this is our great Iowa home feature for the week with an Ankeny address, almost two acres. Uh, Two-story, just loaded with the quality in every direction. Price tag is? $1,375,000. All right. And you know, if you are a cash buyer, that's great. If you're not, jumbo rates are fabulous. You may not realize how much home you can afford these days. Great time to buy luxury property. Great to see you. Good luck with it. Hope the Thank phone you. rings. Yes. Yeah. Give me a call. Come back again soon. Coming up, stay with us on The Home Show. Randy Slings will be here from Iowa Title, and we'll talk about our partners helping Iowa really make that transaction seamless from A to Z. Stay with us. Here's your easy living ranch with attitude, compliments of the elements. Just the right touch of color, those small spaces can feel roomy with details that are timeless, not trendy. At the Elements, our designers can help you save mistakes, save time, and save money. Even if your ranch isn't a ranch, that easy living feeling is a phone call away. The Elements, in Storm Lake and in the district at Prairie Trail in Ankeny. We're anything but ordinary. Time now for the home stretch, small town living all around the big city. This is Indianola, five bedrooms and four baths. Price tag of $599.9, a terrific acreage for you. 14 acres setting here. Those Indianola schools and Brenda Onstadt would love to show you around. Bring the horses, bring the kids. Again, $599.9. Here's an in-town acreage, Indianola address, and Chris Fultz would love to talk to you about this home. Four bedrooms and three baths. Good square footage, lots of character here. A four square farmhouse, hardwood floors, oak trim, an amazing front porch. A lot of character, price tag of 500. Susie Marker, new construction in Indianola from Tanzanite. Open house today from one to four. Stop and see what this builder can do. 
three bedrooms and two baths, five-year tax abatement in Indianola on new construction, nice sized deck, and a price tag of $385 and change. Susie can also show you this uh, home, part of the Streamline series from Tanzanite, the Boulder plan here with three bedrooms and three baths, more than 1,500 square feet, three good sized bedrooms, LVP flooring throughout the main floor, electric fireplace, a lot of nice features for 314 and change. Julie Barkema in Norwalk, also working with KRM and Tanzanite. This is the Ruby Ranch plan from KRM. Contemporary design, four bedrooms, four baths, more than 2,800 square feet, walk-in pantry, walk-out lower level. Wow, and a price of 615. Ken Kozlerich in Norwalk, open house today, one to three. Five-year tax abatement on new construction. Great schools, quick commute when you live in Norwalk. Nice walkout ranch here at Timberview, the neighborhood, and a price tag of $514.9. Next up, this is an estate, a former Great Iowa home feature in Belmond, Iowa, north uh, an hour and a half or so from the city. Five bedrooms and six baths, and believe it or not, 7,300 plus square feet on 18 acres. Country living close to the golf course and the lake, a million five seventy-five. Here's another recent Great Iowa home former feature, Bondurant address, and Melanie Stanbro would love to talk to you about this home. Three bedrooms, four baths, amazing acreage, a 1925 farmhouse, fully updated, uh, Morton building on the property, and a price of $875. let us go to coming, best of show at the recent Home Show Expo. This home with four bedrooms and three baths, part of that new exciting Agrihood neighborhood in coming. Norwalk Schools, state-of-the-art neighborhood here on half an acre, 849. Gina Thompson, this is a Corridan address, south an hour or so of the city, four bedrooms and two baths. If you're a hobby farmer or just like the peace and quiet of country living, 27 acres here and a nice big farmhouse and the price tag of 450. This is Knoxville now, near Lake Red Rock and Cheryl Chambers with a four bedroom, four bathroom home more than 3,000 square feet, multi-level deck, lots of uh, updates in recent years, cozy front porch, uh, northwest part of Knoxville, Ridgecrest Court, 347.5. Tara Murray now with a Madrid address, half hour commute to the city from the north, five bedrooms, two baths, newly remodeled here, two full bathrooms, nice fireplace in the living room, pantry and stainless steel appliances in the kitchen, Heated two-stall garage, 260. This is Nevada, just east of Ames, a few miles. Good schools, quick commute to either Ames or Des Moines. About a half acre setting here, seven mature trees on the property. Open concept kitchen, single car garage, four bedrooms, two baths for 189.9. Small town living, Dallas Center address, a two bedroom home. More than a thousand square feet here, the Winchester Model Lustrum Home, built in 1949. Windows have been replaced, new carpeting, tile flooring in the kitchen and bath. Jenny Willie would love to talk to you about it, 164.9. And Lee Scroggins with a Redfield address, small town living close to the metro, and again with nearly a thousand square feet here, in a move in ready home close to the city park, bike trail in your backyard. You're going to have to say why rent. The price is 110. According to Forbes, Des Moines is the number 11 most affordable place in the United States to buy a home. Well, we talk about the Iowa Realty team, our partners, kind of keeping that transaction seamless from A to Z, and Iowa Title is. Uh, one of those partners and the boss over there, the president of Iowa Title, Randy Slings, is with me. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. She and I worked together at the awards show here uh, recently and uh, just had a great time and uh, don't get to see you often enough. I know. I'm glad to be here, though. You bet. Uh, well, along with home services lending, uh, home services insurance, um, Midland Title and escrow, uh, Iowa Title is part of that team. And uh, I think that's what a full service company should be all about. And your people, uh, 45 of them around the state, uh, yes. they get it done. They sure do. Um, we're just happy to have a team that can really work with the whole singular solution that Iowa Realty's put together. And so we're glad to be part of that team and our we work really well together. Uh, we can 
understand what's coming our way so it really helps kind of keep those gears moving smoothly. Well, you know, uh, a couple of years ago when COVID kicked in, uh, the, uh, the way that Iowa Realty and Iowa Title and our companies adapted and uh, I think pivoted was a word that we came up with somewhere along the line, it was kind of amazing what we were able to do and keep business rolling because people still need to buy and sell. Absolutely. One of the things I think we learned is how to be more adaptive, how to utilize the technology that we have so that no matter what, we can keep those transactions um, closing. And that was the thing. We never missed a beat. Um, we were completely operational the whole time. You bet. Well, you know, I remember buying my first home and I, I was absolutely clueless. And there are young people uh, trying to get into the market who maybe don't even know what Iowa Title does. And that, that's no indictment. That's just youth. So talk about the actual function. So what the title piece of it is uh, kind of happens behind the scenes. But what we're doing is we're researching the history of the property mm -hmm. and we're his, the history of the people who have owned it. And so we're putting the information out there that says what mortgages need released, what easements could impact the property so that you can make sure that you have confidence when you buy that mm -hmm. you can utilize the property the way you want to sure. and that you can use it for equity. Um, I can remember uh, trying to find an abstract one time in, a tra in, in buying and selling house. Uh, and it was kind of a nightmare because we'd forgotten what we did with it. Absolutely. Now you've got some new technology that really gets past that, doesn't it? Yes, we do. We actually store electronically now, which is a really great benefit for buyers. Um, after they've closed their transaction, they can convert it to an electronic abstract. And they're basically buying insurance that it doesn't matter when they're ready to sell in five, 10 or 15 years, they don't have to locate that abstract. It's electronically stored in our office and it's ready to go. It just really streamlines the process and saves them from having to it's pay for that. It's got to be faster and easier and it's yeah. right at the fingertips of your professionals uh, at Iowa Title. And it can be expensive if you lose one. Exactly, it can be about $1,000 <laughs> oh. or more. So that $50 wow. is worth the investment. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, can, uh, it comes down to good people, and believe me, uh, uh, Randy has 45 of them at, at Iowa Really, or at Iowa Title, working with Iowa Really is one of our great partners, and it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Thanks too. Thanks for coming by. You bet. You bet. Remember, the Iowa Realty team, that's Home Services Insurance, Home Services Lending, Midland Title and Escrow, and Iowa Title, keeping that uh, transaction seamless from A to Z. And that's our show. Puts the lid on it for today. We'll uh, talk to you next week on the Iowa Realty Sunday Home Show in our 39th year on your Sunday morning. At The Elements, we get modern farmhouse. We get the clean, fresh simplicity and functionality of it, the comfort. There's something reassuring about the idea. Properly quiet, but never boring. The Elements designers can help you personalize it, make it perfect and beautiful. This is no fickle trend. It's solid, savvy, and sensational. The Elements, in Storm Lake and in the district at Prairie Trail in Ankeny. We're anything but ordinary.